Hello everybody, my name is Robert and this is Review. Now today I did want to do my full review of the Mi 10T Lite, but honestly I've had the phone like three days now and I feel like there's so much here that I couldn't do the phone justice in that time. So if you want to see that video then please do consider getting down below, hitting that subscribe button and hitting that bell notification icon so you get notified every time I upload. Anyway, let's get into today's video where I'm going to be talking about the Peloton All Access mobile app. Now, the Peloton mobile app is a really important part of what Peloton does. If you've been following my journey with them, then great. If you haven't, then you can watch those videos up there or down below in the cards. And you'll know that these are, Peloton is a company that sells bikes and treadmills. They are a very, very good company. Like, you can watch my other videos and the review of the bike and the actual company itself. I love Peloton and I love my Peloton bike. But it is, of course, not for everyone. Peloton is quite expensive at nearly £2,000 for a bike. So, they do offer the All Access app, and that is just £12.99 a month. And what that gives you access to is pretty much all of their live and on-demand classes. And we're going to get into exactly what you get for your money. And then we'll have a discussion as to whether this is worth your time, or whether you might be worth spending a little bit more and buying the bike alongside the app experience. Anyway guys, let's get straight into this. So here we are on the home screen of the mobile app. Now of course you're going to need to create an account to sign up for this. If you already have a Peloton bike then just log in with the same details there and you'll have access to all of the mobile app. If you don't then get signed up, they do a month's free trial and then after that it's just $12.99 a month. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and log in and we'll take a look around the app experience. Okay, so here we are. I've logged into the app and we are thrown straight on to the home screen here. And the home screen shows you the range of classes that you can take on. There is a massive range of classes that you can take. Some of my favourites are the strength classes right at the top there. I also do quite enjoy some of the boot camps as well. So in your classes section, these are split up into categories from strength, yoga, cardio, meditation, Running, so running is for when you have the treadmill. This isn't available in the UK yet, but will be on the 26th of December. I would love to get one of those, but I don't think I've got the room for it, unfortunately. There is the outdoor, which is really cool stuff. Cycling, stretching, boot camp, and walking. Walking again is for the treadmill. So let's say I wanted to do a strength class today. I'd hit strength. And then I can see all of the different types of strength classes that I can take. They range massively. There is thousands and thousands of classes always on demand for you ready to go. They can be ranging from 5 minutes all the way up to 90 minutes for much longer classes. And we can choose to filter these down as well if we decide. So maybe I only want to be doing a 30 minute strength workout. So we'll hit 30 minutes. Class type will say... Um, I prefer to work on my upper body, so let's go ahead with that. Uh, I don't really care about my instructors or my difficulty. Show 22 classes. So we've got here that these are intermediate classes, and I can see each person and who they are. So Matty. I love Matty. We can see here that it's got a 99% rating out of everyone who's rented, rated these. And we have a difficulty of 7.5 out of 10, so that gives you a general idea. These difficulties and ratings are based upon what a user gives at the end of a ride. So at the end of a ride or an exercise, you'll be asked to say how much you enjoyed that ride. Uh, we can also see we're going to need some medium weights and a workout mat. It's nice to see there that we're seeing the equipment. And we can also see a breakdown of the music as well. So we can decide whether it's music that really appeals to us. This has Dua Lipa on it. Um, maybe not massively my class, but we can also see the class plan. And we've got a three minute warm up and then a 27 minute upper body. We hit start, and we're live. So there we go. So we can see along the top, we've got the time left. We've also got, if we tap the screen, how many calories we've burnt. We can set up a heart rate monitor on my iPhone. 
I have an Apple Watch as well. This will automatically connect and most of the time will work. Uh, I do find that actually I might need to use an external heart rate monitor. If you're using an iPhone with an Apple Watch, they will disconnect continually and you won't get a very good heart rate reading. So bear that in mind, get a, a secondary heart rate monitor that sits around the chest. The Apple Watch integration, though there, is not great. But we can also go into the Bluetooth settings and attach one. And we also have this button here, which is going to allow us to cast to any screen in the house. This is really, really cool stuff. We can cast this to my TV. I can cast this to my Chromecast. Any Apple TV device, if I'm on Apple, obviously. So there we go. We can also see in the top corner, we have the, the type of music that we've got there. We can like these and we can share these. I'm just going to end this class because I don't want to be doing this strength workout right now. So we're just going to go ahead and send, say end. I, there we go. And then we get dropped straight back into the profile view. So that's how easy it is to jump into an activity and how easy it is to get set up and get going with Peloton. So if we go to the featured tab, we're going to see what's coming up today. So there's a 45 minute 2010s ride right now. These are of course main, mainly built for the bike, but we can see that we can join these classes. Uh, it, it's seven minutes until it starts, so we'll drop out of it. But these are all live classes that you can do on the bike and the treadmill. And technically you don't need the bike and the treadmill in order to do them. You can do all of these without them. All that you'll have is you just won't have the resistance and the cadence for the bike and you won't have the resistance for the treadmill. You have to set those manually. It's a little bit more work, but for £12.99 a month instead of the near £90 a month, it's a big, big difference. And you've got to play it in your head. Can I buy myself a stationary bike from another company that will do just as good of a job? Potentially, but it won't be as well integrated into the Peloton app and ecosystem. So we can also take a look at the schedule here and we can see what live classes are coming up from the strength, yoga, cardio, cycling, and we can choose to opt into some of these rides if we'd like to. So the Halloween Power Zone ride, let's say, yeah, count me in for that one. That one sounds like fun. On my profile mode, we can see that this is me here. Go ahead and follow me on Peloton if you want to. My name is there. I really appreciate having friends on Peloton and cheering you all on because Peloton at the end of the day is a journey. We can see this calendar view and you can see that I've had 28 active days this month. I've had three days off, um, which is fine. I should probably be taking more days off than that. But I do do a range of exercises in that time. It's not always cardio. It's not always strength. I'll just sometimes do meditation and such. So we can see that I've done 108 workouts to date. 63 cycling, 20 30 Thor strength, 4 stretching, 4 walking, 2 cardio and 1 yoga. But what's really cool is if we go into these walking ones here. I don't know if we can have a breakdown. Here we go. Let's go and find one of my walking ones and you'll see another really cool feature of the app. Here we go. So we've got a power zone walk here. And we can see that in that time I've walked 2.15 miles, burnt 511 calories and got my average pace as well. But these also connect to Strava and they will give you a route of and they will track your route of where you went on this walk and this run. And it will uh, populate across all of your apps, which is very, very clever. So that's pretty much it for the mobile app. So let's talk about whether I think this is truly worth it. £12.99 is not a lot of money. That is less than most gym memberships. And I think for what you get here, for the range of exercises that we can do from cycling to running to boot camps to meditation to yoga, I don't think anything quite rivals it. There are many apps out there that do very similar. Lay Mills. Um, but they are more hit based. They are more cardio based. The just the range of exercises that we have here, from indoor to outdoor as well, is very very hard to turn down at just twelve pounds ninety nine a month. Now, of course, if you do have the bike, this is a more expensive membership, and this is one of my real gripes with this system. If I don't have the bike, I can pay twelve pounds ninety nine a month. 
if I do have the bike, in order to get all of these live classes, I have to be spending £40 a month. Yeah. It doesn't quite add up, does it? There's something very odd and disjointed here that it's the privilege of paying £2,000 for the bike also has to pay for the extra additional cost that comes with the live classes. Very strange, but you get what you pay for, which I'm fine with. So there we go, guys. What do you think of the Peloton mobile app? Did you like my quick overview and walkthrough here of how the app looks like, how it works? I really do think that this is one of the best workouts to date. I have loved every instructor that I've met on this app. They all have such different fun personalities, each different to each other. You never have a workout the same. And also you can still also high five everyone and it's always got that community feeling but just on the big screen if you choose to cast it or on your little screen if you choose to keep it on your phone. Anyway guys, my name's been Robert, this has been Review Clue and if you've enjoyed this video then please do consider dropping down below, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that bell notification icon and I will catch you in the next one. Adios.